How's it going, guys? I wanted to check in with you today, make a short video, um, just going over some of the stuff that we're working on today and that we will be working on moving forward. I hope you guys had a good weekend, that you and your families and loved ones are all safe and happy and healthy and that everybody's doing good. Um, so we have two things to work on today. The first is our daily check-in, which is due by today, Monday the 30th by 4 p.m. Um, just real quick with the deadline on the daily check-ins, I'm not super strict about it being at 4 p.m. Just get it turned in by the end of the day, please. Um, the daily check-ins are my way of taking attendance. Um, and it's attendance that I submit to the school, I document it and turn it into the school. So if you don't complete the daily check-ins, it's like you weren't in class. So make sure you get those done, please. Um, the daily check-in today is kind of a fun one, I think. I hope you guys like it. It's just a little creative writing project about place. Um, so essentially what I'm asking you to do is that wherever you are, look out the window or step outside. And what do you see? Uh, write a short paragraph describing what you see. And I want you to use as much sensory language as possible. So sensory language is language about what you smell, what you taste, what you hear, what you see, what you feel. Use your senses, be as descriptive as possible, and create a little short paragraph telling me what you experience um, looking out your window or stepping outside. Um, so that's our daily check-in. You don't have to reply to any posts or anything like that. Just get it done by the end of the day, please. Um, our next major assignment is posted as well. It is due tomorrow, uh, the 31st, by 4 p.m. Um, again, I'm not super strict with the deadlines right now. I understand um, that we all have different internet access, different just different situations and complexities to deal with with our current situation. So as long as you get it turned in by tomorrow at some point, I'll be happy. Uh, but the assignment is part one of our annotated bibliography. Um, an annotated bibliography is an assignment that you will do a lot of in college. Um, and that's one of the things that I want, my focus has always been with this communications class is to give you the communications and writing skills and speaking skills that you'll need in college. And an annotated bibliography is definitely one of those skills. Um, an annotated bibliography involves two different things. First, you take you, well, I guess three different things. It's, it's a collection of your research for your larger persuasive speech. And what you do is you find a source that you're going to use to help you create your persuasive argument. And you first write an MLA works cited entry for that source. Um, if you're not familiar with MLA, please, please, please go to Owl Purdue MLA. Just Google Owl Purdue MLA. Owl, like the bird. Purdue, like Purdue University. MLA, Modern Language Association. It is the association responsible for all the guidelines and rules and regulations on how to cite things and format papers for college standards. So you'll go on the OWL Purdue website and you'll figure out how to create a works cited entry for your source. And then beneath your source, you'll write a short paragraph or I guess kind of a longer paragraph. Um, and your paragraph needs to do a few specific things. It needs to explain what the source is, who wrote it, and why are they a credible author what the venue is that published it and who that venue's target audience is and then it needs to summarize the source itself and explain how it fits into your research paper or to your persuasive in this case your persuasive speech um so uh, a couple things about that a venue um a venue is where the article is published um so like the larger source like CNN or the New York Times or um, any other, like if you were on a website, the name of the website versus the name of the article. And the reason that venues are important is for that second question about venues, which is what do you think the venue's target audience is? Um, so different venues publish things with the intent that they have, they know their audience and they know what their, who their audience is and what their audience reads. So some, some venues cater towards maybe right-wing older um, audience members and some maybe cater towards younger, maybe teenagers, something like that. Um, and what's important is that a venue will or will not publish something or what, what a venue will publish is based on its target audience. So you want to keep that in mind as you are researching. Um, and then you just write a short summary of the, of the source itself, the article that you read or the website that you're looking at, 
and how you're going to use it in your persuasive speech. What purpose does it serve in your speech? So if your speech is intended to persuade us, to persuade me specifically, uh, to do something, how does this source help you in that goal? Um, we're going to do five of these total, which means you're going to have five sources for your large persuasive speech. Um, we'll do them each separately as individual annotated bibliographies. We'll probably do like two or three this week and then two next week. Uh, I might have said that backwards, but whatever. Um, and then, then we'll turn them all in as like one collective thing as well, um, as like an entire annotated bibliography. And then we'll move on with the other parts of your persuasive speech, such as the outline, the presentation, and then eventually the delivery of your speeches. Um, that's it. If you guys have questions on anything, let me know. Um, if you didn't get the research proposal turned in on Friday, please, please, please get it done. Turn it in. Do not fall behind. If you have questions, if you need help, I am here for you. Just send me an email, post on Google Classroom. Call the school and they'll transfer your call to me and I will help you as best as I can. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.